For years, the Tesla short sellers have been talking about the upcoming EV competition. However, every single year, they are proven wrong over and over again. Mercedes, BMW, Volkswagen, GM, Audi and Porsche are all coming out with 300 mile electric luxury sedans. I think they're doomed. The big boys are coming and they're coming with sexy looking cars at the same price point with better features, faster cars, great styling. GM has recently unveiled their plan to roll out a new electric vehicle portfolio, with one of those vehicles being a 400 mile range Chevy. But is this really the competition that Tesla shorts have been looking for? Or are we at another dead end? In this video, I'm going to unpack GM's 179 page sustainability report and determine whether or not General Motors is catching up to Tesla. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content like this and let's get right into it. GM plans to reveal 20 electric vehicles by 2023, which will all use GM's platform named Ultium. This list of EVs consists of 4 luxury Cadillac SUVs, 2 Chevrolet SUVs, 1 Chevrolet pickup truck, 1 GMC Hummer pickup truck, 1 GMC Hummer SUV, 1 Buick SUV, 1 Buick crossover, and 1 autonomous vehicle that will be manufactured in partnership with Honda. Now the aspects that caught most people's eyes was the Chevrolet BET truck which GM claims will offer over 400 miles of range on a single charge. At first, it may seem surprising that GM was able to achieve such a high range. However, a few subtle hints show that this actually isn't that fantastic of an electric vehicle. Throughout the sustainability report, GM based the range of their EVs using the NEDC range test. The NEDC range test, also known as the New European Driving Cycle Test, is known for overestimating the driving range of a vehicle in comparison to the EPA range test. For example, the Tesla Model 3 long range version has an NEDC range of 419 miles and an EPA range of 322 miles. Clearly, this is a move by GM to inflate the performance of their upcoming vehicles. Another aspect that catches my eye is the fact that the price of the Chevrolet BET truck is never mentioned or hinted at throughout the report. This comes off as incredibly suspicious. To top it off, GM claims that its battery energy storage goes up to 200 kilowatt hours. So if the Chevrolet BET truck has a 200 kilowatt battery pack, this means that the truck has a battery size 2.6 times larger than the Tesla Model 3 long range version. Nonetheless, Elon Musk has been waiting for the competition for quite a while now, and an NEDC range above 400 is still a major improvement for GM. Still waiting. <laughs> the reason why GM is able to improve the range of its vehicles is because of GM's new battery technology, as the company recently unveiled its new battery testing lab. This lab is part of GM's $1.5 billion investment into the General Motors Technical Center. GM claims that its Ultium battery has 70% less cobalt than usual and eliminates 80% of the wiring in the original Bolt EV. The company also claims that its batteries that are going to be manufactured in partnership with LG Chem will cost less than $100 per kilowatt hour, which is quite impressive if it's true. These batteries will be produced in a new battery plant in Lordstown, Ohio, which GM invested $2.3 billion into. The factory is expected to have a capacity of 30 gigawatt hours per year. To put this into comparison, Gigafactory 1 had an annual output of 35 gigawatt hours per year in 2019. So GM expects its factory to manufacture almost as much as Tesla's. What's ironic however, is that after GM announced its plan to build a Gigafactory, Elon Musk hinted at an upcoming Terra factory. Now along with the list of EVs GM plans to release in the next few years, we also got to see some leaked designs of the GM lineup. This includes the Cadillac Lyric, the Chevrolet Menlo, the GMC Yukon XL Denali, GM's autonomous vehicle, and a Buick SUV that doesn't have a name yet. The only vehicle out of this list that we got a range on was the Chevrolet Menlo, which has an NEDC range of 254 miles. The funny thing about this was that GM was too scared to put the range in the unit miles, so the automaker had to put the range in the unit kilometers. 
Add on the facts that the NEDC range test is vastly inaccurate and we're looking at a vehicle that has a range in the high 100s. While GM has previously stated that they were all in on electric vehicles, the truth is that GM is still investing in gas-powered cars. Back in October 2019, the GM CEO told Reuters that 30% of GM's cash will go to investing in future gas-powered vehicles. GM has been all talk and little action in the past, and with the new report, it's either no different or all talk and a little bit more action. Dane Parker, GM's new Chief Sustainability Officer, actually stated that GM has already been part of one revolution in the way we transport people and now we have the opportunity to do it again with EVs. In my opinion, until we see GM spending 90% or more of their cash on electric vehicles and transitioning some of their ICE factories to electric, I wouldn't qualify GM as being serious about EVs. When we take a look at Volkswagen, the CEO has converted plenty of the automaker's gas factories to electric plants and is investing every cent of cash he can get his hands on into electric vehicles. Let me know what you think about GM's electric vehicle plans in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.